Hello, Christina Resso. Happy Thursday to each and every one of you. Hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And share this uh, with others if you can. Well, TikTok and other social media like uh, Pinterest and Facebook are facing discrimination issues, racial discrimination issues. Now, um, I am on, I do have a Facebook account. Um, I'm not on a print, Pentis, a Tris, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's something with businesses, but I try not to get too much on social media. I do have a Facebook account. Um, I have a Twitter, and I'm also on LinkedIn for, you know, employment reasons in case uh, companies want to reach out to me. I also have my pot podcast potluck <laughs> my podcast connected uh as well so <clears throat> those are the three main uh and of course you know through google i'm on youtube uh the three oh and rumble as well of just a few uh because i really you know with my uh busy life and i really am extremely busy that's why i can't uh do uh videos as uh, often as uh, I used to. It used to be like three or four times a week, and now I'll be grateful if I can do squeeze at least one or two. Um, so I, I really don't want a lot of platform. Um, I just use these social media things to reach out, uh, Facebook in particular, family and friends, because uh, I... Um, my family is spread out throughout the country. Anywho, uh, TikTok, I've never got into um, actually uh, getting a, a platform or doing videos with TikTok. My, the way I observe TikTok in the videos, uh, they usually just uh, say brief comments and respond to some other video and another video and another video. Uh, I may be mistaken, but uh, based on my observation and uh, using looking at different clips from other podcasts and you in videos about um, they want to use a commentary from a TikTok video or any TikToker, that's my understanding. Not really going into concrete issues uh, or a live stream like you can on YouTube and Rumble. So I never thought it was relevant for me to actually get a TikTok account. But anywho, we have a few black applicants or um, employees, excuse me, who were complaining about some racial discrimination allegation. Now, um, uh, a few things come to my mind when people make allegations like that because uh uh, first off, uh, you really don't have that proof unless that person had blatantly said something to you, uh, or, or, uh, ostracize, uh, your appearance, excuse me, oh boy, um, your appearance or, um, you know, uh, well, hairstyle is different. I mean, but if you did, says something about your uh head uh your hair texture in uh some type of the derogatory way i'm not talking about appearance of a company suggesting that you wear your hair a certain way or you shouldn't dye it or um you have too many piercings or you know there are too many tattoos i mean company has a right to you know if especially uh, the more you go up in a corporate, uh, they're going to be more conservative, uh, just being honest and, um, and not subdued about their, how people should look or how they should appear, not, not just the physical look, but if you're being, <clears throat> but <clears throat> reading this article from NPR, I've never seen anything throughout the allegations about them verbally being attacked simply because of race. Now, they just gave examples of being treated differently than um, 
their white counterparts, I'm guessing it was just mostly whites and blacks that worked in this company, worked for TikTok. They didn't mention any other group, in spite of the fact uh, it was founded by a, a, a Chinese or Chinese American, I think. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, maybe, I mean, uh, instead of complaining to HR, <clears throat> and I'll give you an example uh, about uh, a, a case uh, where I had to go to HR for sure after com uh, conversing with my management about a situation, but it had nothing to do with race. But okay, but this situation. If you really think that something's wrong, because see the thing about running to HR, um, if you run too much and complain too much of them, you will eventually lose your place of employment, which is what eventually happens to some of these people. Because the main purpose of HR is not to really, and I may be in trouble for saying this or even flag, but it is what it is. There um, is not to protect the employees. HR is there to protect the company. So if you keep complaining about the company and, and this eventually HR is going to find a reason to dismiss you from that position. Now, if you, um, uh, and, and there are several YouTubes about how you can respond in these situations. But again, I don't think it. I don't believe it was racial because I didn't. I don't see. I didn't see the proof in the article that it was actually racial. You. They were just saying they were treated differently uh, uh, than someone uh, of a different race. Well, it could have been a number of things why they did that. Maybe they didn't believe you were working hard enough. Uh, you didn't have a good work ethic. I know that sounds bad, but a lot of blacks do. Um, have a poor image and and because I've worked two occasions where I've worked with predominantly black Americans in particular and uh, the majority you know there's uh, usually chaos, uh, tardiness uh, taking longer breaks uh, lack of ambition lack of teamwork want to start trouble with other employees and management if they can. I'm not saying it's the case of these people. But yeah. Um, because first off, if they really if it was really about discriminating your race, I mean think about it, would they have hired you in the first place? Because there had to have been some type of interview. Whether it was a, a Zoom video, which is really popular these days, or a personal interview where they can actually see you in both cases and if they really didn't want you there because you were black uh, they wouldn't have hired you in the first place so that's another reason why i don't think race was really a factor here you're you're just uh having assumptions with unverified information or lack of information so uh i i this brought my attention because um, it's really annoying when you, you use your, the physical image that God created you to be to some, for some type of attention and personal gain. I'm not saying that that may have been the case with these people, but again, there is no proof that race had played a factor in it simply because they told you to do this and maybe they didn't they told Brad to do something different. Uh, I mean I closely work with a Caucasian woman currently where I work. On my uh, my weekend job I work with uh, a Hispanic woman and um, jobs that she can't get to due to her and she's there more often than I am. I take over. Do I believe that's a personal attack because I'm black? Again, I have no proof of that. My Caucasian co-worker right now for two the last two weeks since uh, she's had some uh, personal problems I've been covering for her anyway. 
but uh, she actually does uh, when we split the work she does more of the uh, like the administration and the groundwork on 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 the computer and I do more of the they organize in like as far as getting pencils sharp making sure pencil sharp and pencils are ready uh, test packets for the instructor um, you know uh, making sure uh, she gets to the keys to a certain room but uh and then she distributes the books to the so uh, does that mean uh because uh our jobs are different I, I mean I'm speechless about this I mean but I, I I the reason I point this out going back to the physical trait is that uh Black um, black people in this country, we've been told since infancy that uh, the average white bird, if not all, are racist. They're out to get us. Um, we got to work and strive twice as hard. I don't understand what's wrong with that, but even if that were the case, we got to work hard, you got to work hard. Um and this system, like the white boogeyman, is out to get us. So we're constantly told, you know, over and over and over and over and over again that we're uh, victims or this didn't happen because you're black. Uh, you know, uh, um, uh, you're walking and driving while black. And, and, you know, as ridiculous as those statements sound. Um, you know, uh, uh, they didn't say bless you because you sneeze too hard because you're black. I mean, <laughs> um, because you drive black cars and you're black. I mean, I mean come on. Uh, so, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people are not going to like what I'm saying, but it, it's just ridiculous. And I didn't realize this until I was recently, I was, I graduated from college. Um, I did some type of side job like cleaning aircrafts and things until I found a, a, a more constructive job, you know, uh, where I could, you know, that was based on uh, what I study. But um, every time, you know, I, I, I would get the interviews, but not the position. And, you know, there was a close relative in particular, so all because you're black, all because you're black. Well, eventually I had to stop telling them because... You know, it was discouraging, and <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, some people sided with him and say, yeah, he may be right. I said, well, okay, and even if he was, I mean, and and that's what a lot of people give up, too. Uh, you see defiance with the police as well, thinking they're victim, and, you know, they want to get defensive. They mean, you know, I mean, I know a lot of other racial groups are defined with the cops too but yeah all of this is knit together and plays a part for a reason and um, it is just ridiculous in a nutshell so um, yeah again it's it's not like they were personally attacking um, your skin color or your hair texture or some type of hairstyle but then again um, there are company policies you know like a uh, a woman that's uh, dressed in a gothic style, if she goes up to a corporate ladder, she can't dress like that. Um, you know, a uh, guy that got a spikes in his hair and he's got two sides shaven um, in a corporate position, uh, he can't look like that. Okay, so uh, company policies and the way you can resolve this, okay, if you're a black person listening and uh, you know you're sensitive about uh, these issues, um, then I would suggest to see if you can get a small business yourself and build your own platform. Uh, there are a lot of depending on your state, there are small businesses. You can get uh, I think there are three types. You can get the small um, pro uh, proprietor. There's a LLC, 
that you can get for small businesses to build uh, your own platform. And um, yeah, if if you know if you're so bothered by with working with someone else, if you're gonna continue, perpetuate the same um, attitude just because you know you're triggered by someone's actions when that may not be the case. You all let me know in the comments what you think. Please be respectful in the comments. If you don't, uh, whether you agree with me or not, if you disagree with me, don't come with the personal attacks. Watch the whole video. And if you still misunderstand what understood or miscommunicated, if I miscommunicated something to you, just ask me. You don't have to personally attack me because you disagree with me. Okay. Christina Resso, thanks for listening. Pray for our nation and our brothers and sisters under the persecuted church. And as I've been saying, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and may his light shine upon you. And I'll talk to you as soon as the Lord wills it.